All right, Jeff, what about value? Hook us up with some value in DFS. Yeah, so, I mean, again, like you can uh, you can certainly go to guys like Zuccarello. He's 6K. But if, if we want to get a little bit cheaper, I mean, I, I like Evgeny Dandanoff, uh, the Vegas Golden Knights versus the Kings. Uh, Paul kind of alluded to this. Like, I, I, the Vegas Golden Knights probably aren't going to get shut out again. The Kings have actually been pretty poor defensively, too, over their last five or six games. Um, this isn't a team that that's really, like, uh, you know, stopped the puck much at all lately. Dandanoff playing in the top six. He's been getting lots of opportunities. And, look, he's not Mark Stone. But he's only 4,200. And, and when you're shooting the puck like three or four times on net, and you're getting top six opportunity, especially on a team like Vegas. Eventually, the puck is going to go in. So I like taking a shot with him tonight. Again, we got a four-game slate. And I think Dadanoff is one of those players who, uh, you know, he, he's, he's been dry lately, but he's just going to show up with a multi-point night sooner or later. He's still very cheap. I, I like going to him for value. All right, Paul, who are you going to for value? I think that's a great call by Jeff. It was one that I had listed as well, so I won't double double down on the commentary there. I'll pivot to Dylan Strom for $4,000. He's centering the top line between Patrick Kane and Brendan Hagel, two guys that are on the wing uh, wings for the Hawks have been on fire lately. Dylan Strom's finding his groove too with 10 points in his last 10 games played, so I'll find a way to squeeze him in and balance my roster with his low price tag tonight.